Unfortunately, when you're not operating in the correct system, as far as the federal regulations are concerned, you're operating without a law. So unfortunately, Mr. Phillips has to spend 10 hours a day at the Old Lathan Scale House doing his out of service for that violation. So what up gang? So I'm out here in Kansas. I believe that's where I'm at. Good old Kansas. And I got put out of service. Yep, put out of service. So I'm stuck for 10 hours. I gotta wait until what? I think 11.30 tonight. Before I can drive, shit crazy, man. Shit really crazy. I ain't never been put out of service before. I mean, I'm just trying to stay, stay in good spirits, positive about the whole deal. Um, just crazy, man. 10 hours, I was literally seven minutes from my delivery. So I had a delivery going to somewhere just outside of Kansas City. I had a pickup in a spot going from a spot called, I think, Junction, Junction City, Kansas, going up to uh, Milan, Illinois. It's like up near Chicago. And um, man, it's just crazy, man, how this shit panned out. But the good thing is, um, cause I, I had this load already booked and on the way out here, I booked a load coming I booked the load that's coming out of here so the thing about this load they said that it delivered up until 11 but after all of this happened I immediately reached out to the brokers let them know the situation um, and the, it was pretty cool it was pretty cool for the most part but the spot that this delivers to they open 24 hours so that's pretty cool so I'll be able to deliver this tonight the broker for the back haul that I have. He was pretty cool. He was cool as shit. I reached out to him immediately and he was like, uh, I can pick it up first thing in the morning. So once I get unloaded tonight, I'm gonna shoot straight over, pick that up, and um, yeah, I don't even know what to say, yo, to be honest. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna pick that up first thing in the morning. Uh, probably 8 a.m. and uh, deliver it on Wednesday because I think the spot that it delivers to they close at 2:30. It was like a seven and a half hour drive for me to get there, so I ain't gonna make it there on time. So I'm gonna probably deliver first thing in the morning on Wednesday. So I ain't tripping too much because I ain't end up having to lose no money per se. Because at the end of the day, um, brokers are pretty cool about the situation, so I ain't have to lose no money. But it's just it just sucks though, you know. Now I got this this shit finna pretty much be on my company that you know I've been put out of service. So it's like a whole look shit that I gotta send off to Can uh, Kansas City or some shit like that. Um, it's just crazy. So hopefully, you know, this don't. I'm pretty sure this shit gonna affect my CSA score. I'm almost positive that this shit gonna affect my CSA score. But it is what it is, you know. Um, so what happened is, it's something pertaining to the, the log. So I use Keep Trucking ELD. Um, so it's two modes on the ELD, in case you didn't know. Um, it's the logbook mode, and then it's ELD mode. Logbook mode, it allows you to, like, you have to change the duty status every time. ELD mode, you change everything except the drive time. So whatever time you start your, your drive clock, 
it automatically puts you on the drive line. And you can't alter that, that drive time. So apparently my logs was on e uh, was on logbook mode and not EOD mode. And that's pretty much what he dinged me for coming through the scale house. And I'm I'm almost certain. I'm almost certain that he popped me because I'm working with keep trucking and I got a box truck. I'm almost certain that's why he fucked with me. Um, I'm sure had he not seen that, had I not been in the box truck, he probably wouldn't even fuck with me. But it's crazy, man. It's just crazy to say the least, but it's a part of the game. I don't, shit is disheartening to be honest. I'm stuck sitting here at the scale house pretty much for the next 10, hour, 10 hours or so. And then I can bail out of here. So he ain't had nothing on me. I ain't get no tickets written or nothing. nothing. Even though um, I think this load is like 13,000 13, or 13 or 15,000, one of the two. But I got a CDL truck, so I, I, ain't, I ain't overweight or nothing like that. Um, of course, he checked, checked my um, one of my cab registration and all that. I gave him my cab binder. My um, I didn't print out my updated uh, IFTA after I paid my IFTA taxes. So when, when I get back to the house, I got to print that out. But I didn't update that. So with that, um, he, he almost tried to catch me up with that. But... I ended up going online, logging into the um, Department of Transportation, and I was able to log in and he could see that my DOT, that my IFTA was active, and then I paid it. Uh, so yeah, I'ma just have to print that out when I get to the crib and um, update, update that in my cab binder. But outside of that, you know, we're pretty, we're pretty solid on everything else, so. Uh, I'm gonna try to go inside and see if and see if the DOT officer will be open to, I guess, explaining everything firsthand so that y'all can hear straight from a DOT's officer mouth as to why it was shut down. Um, and I guess that'll be that'll be pretty cool, like for y'all to hear directly from a DOT officer. And hopefully y'all don't make the same mistake that I just made. Y'all don't have to get shut down. See y'all in a minute. Okay, so all right. So what's up, guys? The officer, he did, he wouldn't mind, you know, explaining to you guys what happened and how you can prevent not going through the same situation. So, Hello, I'm Inspector Wilson with the Kansas Highway Patrol. Uh, we did an inspection on Mr. Phillips today. Uh, when I was reviewing his logs, his ELD that he's required to have since 2017, obviously he hasn't been operating since 2017, but that's when the mandate came in. When I reviewed his logs, I went into the mode status to check and see which kind of system he was actually operating in. And instead of operating in an ELD mode, he was actually operating in electronic logbook mode, which is basically like a fancy paper log. He still has to go in and do everything. With an ELD, that's gonna pick that stuff up automatically. Like when he goes, when he starts driving, the truck's gonna know, hey, you're driving. Or if you stop for more than five minutes, it's gonna ask you, do you wanna go off duty or what you wanna do? So make sure if you're using electronic logging devices that you check which mode that you're working in. Make sure you are in an ELD mode and not something else like AOBRD or electronic logbook mode like we had Mr. Phillips in today. Unfortunately, when you're not operating in the correct system, as far as the federal regulations are concerned, you're operating without a log. So unfortunately, Mr. Phillips has to spend 10 hours a day at the Old Latham Scale House doing his out of service for that violation. So the big thing is check and make sure which mode that you're operating in so you guys don't run into that problem down the road. Be safe, guys. So y'all heard it firsthand. Um, that's how it go. You gotta, gotta be in ELD mode. Your boy was in logbook mode. So technically I was operating without an ELD. So, Don't abide by the rules, gotta pay the price. So, you know, can't blame it on not knowing, I guess. So, it is what it is. I ain't tripping too much. Um, I'm gonna take the time to uh, to catch up on some reading and um, probably grab me grab me something to eat. Probably had Jimmy John's if they deliver here. I think they're like maybe ten minutes from here. So. 
hopefully um, I can order some grub, read, and just relax. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> um, I got until, what, I think it was 11 30 before I can run. It's 3.41 right now. Yeah, another seven hours or so before I can run. So I'm just chilling out. But yeah, don't make the same mistake I made. If y'all can avoid this whole shit, uh, definitely do. So when you when you go when you go to your logs, hit DOT inspection mode, and then right there it says electronic logbook mode. That's what he's referring to when he say, you know, being in ELD mode. So if I was local. I'm not mistaken, I think it's within a 100 mile radius. 100 mile radius, you don't go outside of 100 miles from where you start the day at, you don't have to use an ELD. Now, if I'm not mistaken, you still have to do logs, and that's where the electronic log come in. So, if, if you're local and you don't go outside a 100 mile radius of your, your domicile where you start, then you don't have to put in an ELD mode. And you use your own electronic log mode. But if you go outside of that 100 mile radius, then you have to put in the ELD mode. So um, that's where we at with it. Like I say, I ain't gonna trip too much. It is what it is, you know. Somebody gotta catch the arrows, right? Either if I ain't, if I don't do it or somebody else don't, who, who has a platform that's gonna put you on game and put you on notice as to what to do and what not to do, then it's gonna be hundreds, thousands, of other people who end up in the same situation and if i could you know take some arrows on your behalf and y'all don't have to go through the same thing then so be it you know hopefully this video helps somebody hopefully this video taught somebody something um it's it's definitely a lesson uh worthwhile and um shout out to the to the uh, DLT officer, um, he wasn't he wasn't an asshole. He didn't, you know, I didn't get any tickets written or anything like that. And because uh, it, 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 who knows? It could have been worse. He wasn't a, like I say, he wasn't an asshole. He was just doing his job. So um, shout out to him for doing his job because in doing that, it's a lot of people out here who are running illegal or whatever the case may be, and they're getting into accidents, hurting people, people losing their lives because of that type of situation. So it's up to him and people like him to enforce the law, to enforce his job, his duties, because how many lives could be saved because of that? So I ain't really tripping about it. It is what it is. So I'm out. See y'all in the next one.